what is really your target audience? Because let's face it, people aren't going to be buying this to play air hockey at home, not at you know eleven thousand dollars. What really is your target audience? Uh, well, currently we are targeting uh, corporates, brands, and retail. So uh, this is mainly like being initially like our target audience is B two B customers. Uh, but as you see, you know the applications are evolving. Like there are some applications that are already ready for the consumer space. Like in, like the one you played was air hockey and Wong or some multi touch games that you just saw on this. So as it uh, evolves into a consumer product, I think we'll have a lower end version of this particular table, which would allow us to bring down the price. Sorry, just, just to just stay on that point. I mean, you know, obviously, we'll have to be specialized killer apps because if it is just, a, even if it's a retail guy, uh, if it's just a question of air hockey or the other things, it's uh, you know, in a sense cheaper to buy 10 or 15 iPads and give them to all their customers to play around with. Oh, so you would have just a much larger display which is just only a touch screen, right? Yeah. So so you'd have to be building some specialized killer apps, wouldn't you, to get people to buy this? Yes. So what we do is that we actually work with partners who are content developers. So like uh, the way you see apps popping up on App Store or these other places where um, like application developers are building up on top, on, on top of an SDK. The same way we support an SDK which our application developers are using and you'll be soon seeing more applications applications which are geared towards the consumer space which would run on a table like this. Okay, now, you know, uh, one of the things that obviously comes into my mind straight away when I see this is that one of your competition is obviously Microsoft Surface or their likes, right? Now, that's about a thousand dollars more than you and it seems to be slightly more refined in terms of, you know, it's a continuous surface, it has a much larger screen, much larger display, this is much smaller. Why is this price at eleven thousand dollars? That's what really is a little confusing to me right now. Does it need to be? Uh, well, means if you see technologically, like what we have in here, means we don't compare basically with the other products out in the market because we kind of engineered the product around with the market requirement in mind. Okay. So we have a research team who did some research in the market, and what people wanted is that a table which would work under any ambient light condition. And uh, most so of the injection part of the technology of the Microsoft Surface is what you're not really exactly. Okay. And also. If if you see like the abilities like in terms of the touch performance and the application suite that is uh, like the customization abilities that this application suite is providing, it's off the shelf or it's like you just pull out of the box and start using it. And then you, you can actually like customize these apps. Currently we are bundling a set of apps which some right. users may want, some users may not want. As we see hundreds of applications being developed for this particular table, what we can do is that we can just bundle a small subset of applications and have people and then buy additional reduce, applications and maybe reduce the price. And it is can you just tell us of the people who bought this, yeah. what are the sort of uses that they, they are putting this on? Because obviously, you know, we, we like the product, it's great to play around with and the rest of it. But for it to become a commercial success uh, for you, which you know, as an Indian company, we certainly hope it does become a commercial success. If you could give us some idea of the actual uses that people put this to. Sure. Uh, so currently, the maximum use that we see is from the corporate and the retail segments. So like, for example, you go to shop for a cell phone. You have hundreds of options to select from. Uh, imagine like if you had some kind of an interface which would allow you to compare phones. You, you just keep these two phones on the table oh, okay. and keep two phones and it will automatically open up a comparative chart. Open up a comparative chart or uh, say more productivity applications like they have been doing projects for uh, some shoe company. So you go to a shoe shop to buy shoes. Uh, if you have an interface which would allow you to select the right shoe that you really want to buy, you know, that is something that uh, our customers find as a value. You don't necessarily have to keep the shoe on the table, you can also just drag and drop the photographs in. The right. photograph has to work. Yes. My mind was like, okay, how many shoes are I going to put on the table? <laughs> Arun, thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure having you with us. All the best with this. It's a really interesting, exciting product.